Hey guys, and welcome to the unboxing of the hugely anticipated Super Mario Maker. Now, if you don't know what Super Mario Maker is, where have you been? It's pretty much all Nintendo's harped on about for the past few months. And with good reason too, Super Mario Maker is a game which allows you to create your own games. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much with that, I'm sure if you Google Super Mario Maker or YouTube it, you're going to get lots and lots of gameplay videos and lots of weird and wonderful creations. In short, it's a game that allows you to create your own Mario games, 2D Mario games that is, using the themes demonstrated on the back of this lovely uh, limited edition uh, box. Um, so this box includes uh, the game of course, a art book and the classic Super Mario uh, Amiibo, which is all for um, Super Mario's 30th anniversary, as seen here. And I think this is a perfect way to celebrate uh, Mario's 30th anniversary, to be honest, it's, it's fantastic. Um, this is gonna be a very quick unboxing because I really wanna just get in there and start creating, and maybe I'll upload some of my creations on my YouTube channel, who knows, we'll see. Um, so yeah, quick look around in the box. Very cool, very snazzy. Um, so this amiibo is actually one of two. This is the uh, classic Mario coloring, and there's also a modern version, which is going to be released at some point in time. So have a look inside, take out the amiibo. And here's the book. So th this box was quite weighted on one side, and it purely was because of this glorious book which looks fantastic um, I haven't even opened it yet so this is the game um, I'm not a huge fan of the box art if I'm being honest I mean, it's pretty cool I mean it's not bad I just thought they would have asked for something like this on the box but minor complaint it's not really a complaint to be honest it's an odd choice I thought they would have preferred to stick with the instruction Mario theme but let's have a little look at the disc um, so that's the disc that's pretty cool Lots of weird and wonderful things happening on there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, next we'll open up the Amiibo because we can already kind of see that and then we'll open up this and see what delights are in there. So this Amiibo packaging is a lot slimmer than the Smash Bros Amiibo, um, but the, the Amiibo itself looks a lot bigger, but a lot clunkier than the uh, Smash ones. Um, so yeah, it says classic colors, Mario. Um, you never know, they might make a Luigi one, who knows, uh, some details on the back, so basically if you utilise this in Super Mario Maker you get like this Mega Mushroom which creates um, Mega Mario which is apparently different to the other Mega Mario um, and also it makes moustaches and stuff appear on characters and stuff like that. Um, so let's open this guy up. So this is a fair bit heavier than any of the Smash Amiibos, but it is so cool. Look at that. It really reminds me of um, Picross 3D. I don't know if any of you have played Picross 3D. I loved Picross 3D. Um, I love Picross in general. Picross 3D was awesome. Um, random fun fact, they're making a sequel in Japan of Picross 3D. But I uh, don't want to digress too much, but that's what this reminds me of. Uh, it's really cool. Um, so I'll definitely be trying to pick up the classic version as well. It's quite rigid as well. I mean, you lob this at someone's head, it's probably going to hurt. So yeah, it says Super Mario Bros. 30th. Um, and just for size comparison, here's the Smash Bros. Mario. Mine's getting a bit dusty. It's been on the shelf for a while. But yeah, it's pretty big. But it is, it is awesome. And having this alongside the other Mario one will look amazing. Um, so we'll have a quick look at this art book. Sorry, camera cut out. But anyway, back to the uh, hard book. So oh, this book here uh, contains loads of ideas um, and codes and stuff like that uh, for Super Mario Maker to kind of inspire you. So I'm not going to look at every single page. Um, so I might do that whilst playing the game and hopefully it'll inspire me. Um, that's pretty nice. 
Nintendo. So look, it's got some uh, codes here. So every image I believe in the book, this is just from what I've been told anyway, or heard from the E3 conference, is every uh, picture or most of the pictures have a little code and you can enter that somewhere in the game and you'll unlock this. Well, not unlock it as such, it kind of builds that element for you. So here, for example, and here, it's like a rabbit, the basics. I mean, this book, to say it comes free with a game, looks fantastic. Let me just pan the camera down, let make it a bit easier. So it literally, I'm mesmerized by this, it's just it's beautiful, uh, it's just oozing Nintendo. Look at that, look at that, cat paw on Mario. Just, here's the ultra, ultra creepy skinny mushroom. If you guys haven't heard about this yet, basically at any point during the 8-bit, I think it's only the 8-bit stages, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, if a mushroom appears, it could very randomly be a skinny mushroom, which will cause Mario to look like this, and it is terrifying. Um, so more stuff there. Uh, yeah, it's got a bit about shells and how to utilize them. All sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. Loads and loads and loads. Don't want to ruin it for you, and I don't really want to bore you by going through it all, although I could quite happily sit through the entire of this. Um, but I might do that at a later date, either on or off camera, go through each and every page. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful little book, and it's really nice that Nintendo included this with the game to inspire you to make stages. Um, I haven't played the game yet, but I'm going to recommend it to you already because it looks fantastic. Uh, the gameplay videos I've watched, in particular stuff from Game Explain and uh, the BitBlock, um, those sort of YouTubers, the sort of things I've seen that you can do um, just looks amazing. It literally is the limitless Mario game. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, Stay tuned to Keen TV for more videos, um, and I will catch you all later.